What's up guys? Just wrapped up an epic morning of shooting waterfalls in Great Smoky Mountain National Park. It's time to head up into the higher elevations or maybe head back in and grab a nap or a bite to eat or some coffee because that sunlight's getting down into the valleys, gonna get some highlights on that water. Wait till the end of the day to maybe come back out and shoot waterfalls. But I wanted to share some tips on how you can create interesting compositions using waterfall movement in your photography. Specifically, like, how do you use waterfall movement and long exposure to create like leading lines and foregrounds? Well, you really have to think about your aspect of how you're shooting. Are you shooting landscape? Are you shooting portrait? Because that's gonna have a lot to do with how you do this. Number one, let's take portrait for example. When you're shooting in portrait aspect or orientation, whatever you wanna call it, a lot of times you're shooting with like a wide angle lens. Well, how do you use that best? What a wide angle lens does is it distorts the water and it distorts those foregrounds to kind of like elongate them at the bottom of the frame. Use that to your benefit because when you elongate that water, it kind of pulls it into your wide angle lens and allows viewers to be kind of like pulled in using those leading lines of water coming out you. This can be done with exposure speeds of like five seconds, one and a half seconds that allow you to create really interesting compositions using those features. What if you're shooting like landscape view? You can use water movement really creatively in that way too. Maybe lining up things in the same aspect ratio as you are with your frame. So what do I mean by that? You can shoot panos going all the way across, maybe like water falling down. Uh, this is a really good way to create linear objects and create like shapes in the same photograph. So using similar shapes like lines and direction of lines is really helpful for your photography. Just think about the direction that these lines are going is going to impact the frame as well. So if lines are going up and down, shoot in a vertical ratio. If lines are going side to side, shoot in a landscape ratio. Just really think about like how the lines are. Don't work against them, really go with them because that's when you start creating better photography of waterfalls and using movement to your advantage. You can also use movement and long exposures when you have water moving in a certain direction. If you have water moving in a linear shape, use that as your foreground. If you have water that's kind of coming over a falls, use that as your foreground. Really work with the flow of water, not against it. Because, I mean, landscape photography and waterfalls is just like rowing a boat. If you're going against the flow of water, it's gonna be really tough. If you're just going with the flow of the water, you're gonna figure things out a lot faster. So, use these compositional skills with your waterfall photography to start figuring out how you can shoot better waterfalls whenever you're out in the outdoors. Hey guys, if you like this video or you found it useful at all, hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to this channel and continuing watching is always an option too. There's a video showing up on your screen right now of a suggested video based on your YouTube search terms.